the strain. Late nights were sharp. Man, once again. And look, girl, and look who I got with me. <laughs> who you got with you? Called you with the phony, but you know what I had to bring you back because the bitches was hating. So I'm like, shit, if they hate, that's what I need to keep putting in their face. You know what I'm saying? Man, Straight up. They're going to hit on a cracking ass bitch. Oh, yeah. God. Hey, talk, your, regular. talk your shit. I ain't mad I ain't at tripping. you. I ain't tripping. I ain't mad at you at all. Mm -hmm. Man, there we go, man. Hey, shit, pull out them church houses, man. Them hockey sticks, man. You dig? Man, shout out to the Kill Squad, man, for real. Shout out to everybody, man. What's going on tonight? I definitely, before we even say something, because I'm definitely going to want to know um, your Rolling Loud experience. You feel me? I definitely want to know. I got you, baby girl. Thank you. This ain't dirty. I just saw a little smudge on it, but you know. Appreciate you. Make sure that it's good. Always looking out. Shit brought back memories. Everybody know what I'm talking about, but I definitely want to know your your experience at Rolling Loud, because I think you were there yesterday. It was right? yesterday, yep. Okay. We're we'll going to definitely talk about that. Let's let them pile on in, man, one time, man. Welcome to the Late Night Show. Y'all know what it is. Come on through, man. I love running in at night. That's what I do. I don't know if anybody was in L.A. tonight or the last three days. I don't know if y'all was, but man, that Rolling Loud, man, that's where it was at. I ain't gonna hold you. Of course, I had to go the last day. I wasn't gonna, uh, couldn't go all the regular days. <laughs> regular days? I know. Hey. Damn. You know, hey, listen, listen. I couldn't go the regular days. You know Why what I'm saying? Why would you do me like that? I ain't even doing you. I listen to me. Anybody that, I'm not going to say that because there's motherfuckers that went from Thursday to Sunday. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. have three, four day passes. But I just feel like today was the day. Shit's future. The vibe was, was different. Man, the vibe was crazy. Nah, Summer Walker had her, did her shit yesterday though. I know she did. Wasn't Sexy Red there yesterday? I believe so, yeah. She came back today. And did she opened up, uh, she had a, uh, did some shit for Chief Keef. So oh, yeah, they cool. performed that one song. Mm -hmm. That shit was cool. I ain't gonna lie. Fuck my baby dad. I fuck with Sexy Red. For anyway, sure. <laughs> she, don't even, she don't even mean that shit. <laughs> Let's be real. I told her, I was like this. I see her at the press pit. I'm like, hey, Red. Red, come here, Red. She wasn't stopping for nobody, though. Wait, Security she didn't talk to you? She didn't talk to nobody. Nobody. Oh. Me, nobody. I don't give a fuck who it was. She ain't stopped for nobody. Damn, she didn't say hi, nothing. You know, I'm going to tell you this, right? And I think we figured it out. And, like, we are about to drop a crazy-ass vlog on No Jumper, so y'all be on the lookout for that. You know, it's featuring a lot of us doing some great shit there. But, man, nobody got fucked. Nobody get that one from her. She wasn't trying to get that shit up at all. Somebody stopped her was like, yeah, you ain't stopping for shit. Like, keep mm -hmm. moving. Keep moving. But, I mean, shout Sexy Red. But I know, like, that microphone and no jumper microphone is like a fucking pistol. So when people mm -hmm. see that, that basketball on there with that no jumper, like, I was getting better interviews keeping the mic away from me for a second and then bringing the microphone in. Because, and like I said, I love no jumper. Like, we, I, I love that we do have, um, we got that type of notoriety. I mean, shit. I mean, you know what it they is. They expect I mean, to get bled. Yeah. I mean, nobody. I'm not there to bleed nobody. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? But I do understand, like, how, how the shit can be. Yeah. I mean, don't. Listen, people need to stop tripping. How about you not do something that's not postworthy? And let's keep it real in all actuality. Like, whether it's bad news or good news, mm -hmm. it could be the worst. You still going to have people talking about you. Yeah, that's what, That's what this shit's about, especially if you in... You're, you're out there like that. Yeah. Nothing these days can kill your career. I feel like 6 9 showed us all that. Yeah, he went through it, the worst for sure. And he, man. He's still making noise, if you ask me. Listen. The if, views are still there. The likes are still there. If that nigga could get out of being one of the biggest snitches known for whatever the case may be, right? 
Mm-hmm. If he can get out of that shit, hey, man, fuck. Sky's the limit. Not sky's real, the though. fucking limit. Okay, so besides future, future, who were you there to see today? First it was future, then who? Oh, three, for sure. Oh, three. I definitely wanted to check out that dude, Mike Sherm. I didn't get a chance to go see him. Mm-hmm. His name was coming across my desk a lot as well. Yeah. I definitely wanted to go see bros, yeah. So shout out to Mike Sherm, man. Hopefully I can get you in there for an interview, man. We can sit down. We can chop it up. Yeah, no, that rolling loud was crazy. Who was uh how was it for you yesterday? How was the vibes? I fucked with it. Um I got there pretty late, but um I caught Summer Walker performing late. in the middle of her performance. Late's always vibe. better though. It is. I don't give a fuck nobody say late's sure. late's always better. Cause you're gonna catch that's that's when everything's at its highest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I mean shit, I ain't mad at that shit. Last year I didn't go to like six. To go went on a Saturday. wasn't the last day, but shit, I ain't go to like six o'clock. Sun was already down. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was going down. It was like fifteen yeah. minutes of it left. Went back there though, got to chop it up with some of the best. So mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Shit, it's still made for a her overall well vlog. You yeah. know? Yeah. I ran into a lot of people though, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of people knew the two tone twins. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They ain't no no damn two tone twins. Come on, don't believe me like that. They ain't no no two tone twins. I know the two tone twins, but I don't think they knew the two tone twins. You know what it is, Shark. Stop playing with me. You are not happy here right now. You know that. Well, I felt like the stream liked you, and you know, there was a lot of controversy that came behind it too, so I said, fuck it. Why not? Run you back for a second time. Why not? Shit. That's now, fun. you did that for sure. Oh, uh, for sure. You said bitches was hating on me and all that. God Man, damn. Man, I didn't understand it. Y'all bitches some weirdos. I didn't understand it. What's up with y'all? I didn't get it. Y'all too pretty to be hating. Come on. I, man, I thought so. And then obviously it showed that. Like, y'all not. really be bad. Like, damn, why y'all hating on me? Because you know what? I you could be my homegirl. Some, some chicks be ugly on the inside. You know what I'm saying? So that shit pours out. You know, it's like it's cancerous. Yeah. You know, I'll never understand it. Bitches really be pretty as fuck hating on the next bitch. Like, why? Man. Y'all too cute for all that. Somebody said, Sharp, who's a lovely lady? Hey, man. Two tone twins. They're right here, man. Goldie with the 40. Artist. Half of two tone twins. I don't know what it is. Where's your sister? Hey, she ended up getting faded. She posted for the night. Yeah. She was going up. Y'all was we had a, a video shoot. I was about to say, y'all yeah. had a video shoot earlier, right? Yeah, we were being productive, getting faded, catching a vibe mm-hmm. on this lovely Sunday. It was cool. Yeah. I feel like this video is going to be one of our best ones. Mm-hmm. What? What's about this video? Yeah, this video. We did our shit. I don't know. Like I said, one of my favorite ones that I saw y'all do, like I said, I like that Chili Man. And I know y'all was featuring on there with somebody, but... Y'all verse yeah. on there, y'all shit crushed. Shout out to the homie Fortune. Yeah, man, straight, mm-hmm. straight up, y'all, y'all shit crushed it. Now, if you did fuck with that one, you're gonna for sure fuck with our new music for sure. We're on album mode, so we're gonna be doing a lot of dropping from videos to music, all that. Yeah. Yeah, the day was was crazy. I run into. Um, DW Flame in the parking lot, me and him link up. Shit, we ran right on into that motherfucker and just, it was nonstop from the time I got there, man. That shit burnt me out. I swear, I probably got about 30, 40 different fan interactions just on camera, even the ones I didn't get on camera. Like, at the end, I didn't even want to stay. Like, I, I wanted to stay for the future joint, but I wasn't trying to get caught in all that traffic, man. I'm cool. What about to sit in the parking lot for a fucking hour? What was a memorable what was a memorable fan moment for you today? What stood out to you? Some man, one dude walked up on me and he was real low about it. You could tell he was shy, but when he walked up on me, and like this is when it kind of died down, and he yeah. had walked up on me and he was just like, hey man, I just want you to know, like I look up to you. And wow. I was like, I was like, hey man, what shit, just be mashing. Um, he was Mexican. Damn. Yeah, he was just like, man, I look up to you, man. I was like, hey, bro, shit, we right here, man. Uh, that man said, got to give a picture, whatever. 
Yeah, the La Raza really be fucking with you though, for sure. Yeah, they be, they be putting with on me, for you. Yeah. It was going down today, uh, nigga would. I like going out there though. Like it's always cool. Do uh, mm-hmm. do rolling loud. It's a lot of shit around there, man. Bitches was man. You talking about bleeding them? One bitch knees was bleeding because you could tell she been dropping ass on the concrete all oh. day doing the splits. <laughs> Man, yeah. doing the motherfucking splits, man. I was I'm like, what the fuck? I'm talking about her knees. Like, you can tell. I'm like, baby girl, because we had it all on vlog. I said, hey, get up. I can tell you've been doing this shit all hey, day. Hey, those be the ones, though. Ain't no fun without the ratchets there, for sure. No, it, it definitely be <laughs> fun with the ratchets. You, you got to have some ratchet shit going on somewhere. I just don't want to see nobody hurt themselves during Not ratchet really. activities. Not. You know what Was I'm she saying? faded? Uh, Was she faded? Most like she had a ski mask on. Oh, she was skied up. <laughs> I said, ooh wee. Ski mask Barbie. Hey, you know did y'all get it on the vlog? Yeah, we got it on the vlog. Okay, cool. Yeah, for sure. Shit was I want to see it. <laughs> that shit was crazy, man. Hey, they zoomed in on, this, on the knees and everything, too? On yeah, I was knees? like, man, you can see it. I was like, baby, get up. I was like, all right, because I ain't expected to. She started just shaking her ass. And then before I know it, I'm in the camera. And then before I know it, I look down. She in full blown split mode. Oh my God. Bitch getting ready for the Olympics. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she ready. She was ready. I ain't gonna lie. She was ready. And she was doing it. I felt like she was doing it for me. But, like, her dude's standing right there, like, and her dude allowed Yeah, it? yeah. What was he doing? He was like, hell yeah, the shark. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, hell yeah, this shark. Let that shit rock. Damn, I said, all right. Damn, hey, that's said, next level right there. Yeah. A nigga man, you'd be surprised, what? Nigga, and that's his you, bitch right nigga, there? Man, you'd be surprised when a nigga could do it real loud. He'd give you his bitch. Damn, you different. He fucked with you enough. Straight <laughs> up. He fucked with you enough. He get, hey, no problems. Bro. He did, though, man. I was like, hey, because I'm on the camera. Before I know it, I look down. This bitch full-blown split mode right there. I said, oh, okay, well, we're playing limbo. How low can we go? <laughs> shit, man. Yeah, no, that shit was crazy, man. The fan interactions I must have took. Like, I tried not to turn nobody down for pictures. So the ones that I did, I didn't get mm-hmm. to fuck with like I apologize like for real cause that shit was just it was a lot man that shit was a lot my nigga I feel like my nigga FBG dope boy he got faded we up in there you know what I'm saying they got a uh, three point shootout contest going on in there I ain't gonna tell y'all what happened y'all gonna have to watch the vlog the vlog but that shit was crazy they had me as one of the judges so we got all that like yeah man this vlog for no jumper about to go crazy man y'all get ready for this one Four days of fun in the motherfucking sun. And y'all already know. That's, man, I, the day I come through, hey, man, it's going down. Mm-hmm. What were y'all sipping on tonight? The Douce? Douce had a, uh, Douce had a, a booth mm. in the press pit. They were supplying the shots. They were supplying, like, full-blown drinks. Me and DW Flame did that. Don't want to tell y'all what happened to like how we moved on that one, but that shit crazy. Get ready for that. Me and Flame was moving. Like me and him did the whole little like do say booth and shit mm-hmm. like that. So you know, it's gonna be cool. I feel like the details on your outfit go crazy. Yeah. I'm just looking at it right now. Yeah. yeah the like way it? they did it? You like it? Shout out to my homeboy. No. Nah, shout out to my homeboy Rambo. My nah, homeboy for sure. Rambo. You gotta like, get up. Show him the fit. You and your sister. Man, they don't see it. <laughs> you and your sister. Be you want some one on ones and shit. Let me know. I'll plug y'all with uh with Rambo. Yeah, that's y'all can start going details to get some on it go crazy. Y'all can start going to get some shit from him. Hell yeah. Because he going to make that. y'all some shit that nobody got. Oh, it's like one of one. Yeah, it's one of one. It's oh, not man. nothing like your jeans won't be, you won't see anybody else in them. He makes like female attire too? Like yeah. girly pieces yeah. and everything? Yeah. He's able to adapt. Yeah. And like, yeah. wow, that's crazy. Shout out to Barmy Rambo, man. Holy Land. Shit, I put brick on. Brick ain't even, nah, I put brick on the Holy Land. We all be rocking that shit. Yeah, it's yeah. like certain details that I'm like looking at right now. He did his shit with this right here. He be took sewing all this shit. He be sewing it all and dyeing it all. He be doing all types of shit to it. And the belt too. It go crazy. Oh, you like this belt, sweetie? 
Well, thank you. The little, it's all about detail, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. you like that? How like a, a nigga well, like puts like it together? A, you like a well dressed nigga? For sure. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Gotta smell good too. Hey, baby, that's all I know. How it to all do. comes together, you feel me? I, I got to do that. Mm hmm. You did? <laughs> Use our plugs too, right? I used to, yeah. Yeah, I see it. Mm hmm. Mine was dope though. I had mine custom made. What color did you have them? They was uh, teardrops, but I had the diamonds around them with a floating diamond in the middle of them. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my homie Lil J too over there at Club Tattoo in Vegas. The only people who even made genuine body jewelry that was actually gold and diamonds. So shout out to them, man, for real. Y'all ever be in Vegas, man, go slide over there and say, the Sharp sent you, he gonna take care of you. Ask for Lil J. Club Tattoo, I think they got one now in the Venetian. Hand playing Hollywood still. Love talk, motherfucker. Leslie, I appreciate you, sweetie. Man, I seen Flacco big ass tonight. That's my nigga, though. I don't know. I'll make a bet right now. And even with niggas gone for the last three days, four days, I don't think anybody had as much interaction that I had today in one day. I believe it, too. I'm for real, homie. Like, I'm burnt the fuck out from that shit. That shit's crazy. Because they all like drama. They all like to turn up and they know me. I'm with the shit. I'm a tripper. So they be like, oh, shit is You sharp. pop your shit. You don't hold back. It's sharp. So, but I love that for them, though. Like, to let them know, like, we really be outside. Like, hate us or love us. Yeah. And we know we come with a lot of problem. But, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, we out there to show love, man. And everybody. It was, the, the love was electrifying. Did you feel way more comfortable doing it this year than last year? Did it flow more? What? Did it flow? Like, no, yeah. I, I feel like I did more this year than I did last year. And I thought I did a lot last year. So that's how I know we're making progress. Yeah, I know. Hey, man. It's just in our own studio. Hey, man, it's good. Trust me. This is how I want it. You don't like my aesthetics? <laughs> Nigga. Less is more. No hate on yeah. This the new wave, bro. Nothing. <laughs> a window. Nigga, this, this the new wave, gang. This is what we doing. You like it, baby? She's got sure. a dope, is, right? Yeah, less is more. It's got an aura. Straight, straight to the cup. It's got a motherfucking aura. You're the aura. main attraction. This shit got an aura to it. You know what I'm saying? I like this shit. Gives me room to breathe. <laughs> oh. Let's say you know you nervous. You feel nervous, baby. I'm posted. Per usual. Per usual, just posted. Posted. Oh, no, they always think, yeah, it is on a small ass carpet up. You right? <laughs> right, this shit crunchy as hell. <laughs> yeah. Tch. Fuck you mean? Make your bitch get on her knees on it, nigga. Don't play with me, bro. <laughs> I don't really. <laughs> I really do you, gang. Like, for <laughs> real. Like, I don't even want to do you like that. I seen Dejan. Dejan was up there. Hey, I heard Dejan almost got into it with a fan. I heard he was about to squabble. I heard he had to physically put hands on somebody and, and remove them. I could be wrong. I mean, this is just what I was hearing when I got up there. They say Dejan. Dejan, Paul. Put his hands. I really want to call this out. This nigga probably ain't even up. I heard Dejan put his hands on somebody and moved him. Removed him. I could be wrong. That's what they were saying. I think that was Flacco told me that. But Flacco could be bullshitting. Flacco always put extras and fucking 20s on top of fucking ones. You know what I'm saying? So you got to. Flacco could be bullshitting. But Flacco told me that shit. Dejan was right there though. Dejan was like, I ain't do that. But Dejan was just downplaying it. 
Yeah, I call Cap on that shit too. I'ma roll with you. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, Cap. Hey, I'ma I'm I'm call Cap on that one too. Dejan didn't do that. Dejan probably told somebody they don't need to be behind the booth for some extra shit. But I don't see Dejan putting it. Dejan don't even want to be like that. Like Dejan, cool, man. But you know Flacco, he always putting some bullshit on the bullshit. Someone said we need to perform our music 2025. Rolling loud. Hey, we coming. No, you're not. We coming. No, you're not. Hey, don't make me look bad. <laughs> I'm just trying to make you be great. Look, see, don't they say you got to listen. You're supposed to use the, the naysayers bullshit. It's fuel. Be like, no, okay, sure. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if I say no, all right, well, then we go prove us wrong. Prove me wrong, yeah, on God. Prove me wrong. Yeah, I peep that. Now we coming, though. 2025. It's been long overdue. You we coming. Do, you want to do roll out? Two tone twins. You know, I We coming. I should have did Larry June pause. I should have came yesterday and did the interview. Cause I know I could have caught up with him and I'm sure he was in the press pit. Shit, man. I just uh I feel like today was the day, man. Shit, I talked to Larry June. That's my homie. So I mean shit, I'll just highlight the nigga. Yeah, it was a nice day. It's nice. You say you enjoyed yourself yesterday? No, for sure. It was a cool little vibe. Yeah. This was like my second time being at Rolling Loud. Yeah. It was cool. I just feel like every time it just gets better and better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, y'all definitely uh need to see what happens is, and I'm going to give you the game on it, like for real, like what y'all should do. So that way y'all can move around in certain areas and do shit that y'all need to do. Y'all need to start getting on the list tomorrow. Cause they gonna already announce the next one. They already gonna they already know what they about to do. You need to start figuring out the people that do that shit already. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like and already on the on the whole movement to where they like, okay, we can get you on the list early. So that way you can have the wristbands that you need or have the, the access that you need to move to places that you know general pop can't move to. Yeah. You just gotta get on that shit. Whoever the fuck managing y'all like shit, nigga. Had them motherfuckers, hey, already had y'all signed up for next year. You ain't got to perform, but, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Just move around so y'all can bump shoulders Fast. with people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. Say so she didn't come for this live shit. Church ain't reading her right. Hey, man. This is my people. Like, you want some bullshit. She ain't come, she ain't come for nothing but to chill, church. I brought her for y'all. Y'all always like seeing me interact with a lady. Hey, y'all see how she be talking? She be going crazy. We bound to go crazy in this motherfucker. Chair match. Ladder and chair it's match. It's gonna get ugly. It's gonna get ugly in this bitch. I'm just waiting for it to pop off. Maybe a few more strings in. We gonna act like we cool. <laughs> sharp, bro. <laughs> Straight the fuck up. We act like we cool and then boom. Shit just gonna kick the fuck off. What do you want to see from the two tone twins? What do you expect? Well, this next run. What do I expect? First and foremost, I don't think I've ever became friends with female artists in LA like I became friends with y'all. So me being your friends and fucking with y'all, I expect a lot out of y'all. Y'all got to But what do you want to see, though? Everything y'all ain't doing. And whatever that may pertain to. Whatever you ain't did yet, that's what I want to see. Make sense? Facts. You For example, me? throw it up. There's something you, what, at least. Whatever one thing. you ain't did. I don't know. You got to tell me what you ain't did so we can say we need to go do that. A harmonizing song. Well, you need to go do that. Exactly. Get a little uncomfortable. Get out my comfort zone. Man. It's the only way you're going to win. Look what I ran into today. Look what I ran into today, man. Good old Zushi, huh? Shout out to them guys, man. Not just a lady. This is Goldie with the 40. Ay, man. that part. <laughs> nah, I fuck with you for that. That what? was player. Who? <laughs> Didn't I tell you? Stop reading <laughs> shit for free. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. 
I'll tell you, stop They reading. really be coming through for me, though. I told you, yeah, I know, but still, stop reading shit for free. Make a buy the super chats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Yeah. I don't know. I want to know the nigga that was spitting game at you last time. I was like, bro, you need to buy a super chat or something, gang. He was over here. I see I had to put you on your game. I said, nah, you can't be doing that. Come on, Lala, you can't That's be doing that. That's like ism right there. Man, you, I'm just you telling. can't speak without a fee. Man, Head ass. we gotta get a couple. <laughs> we gotta get a couple dollars buff this shit. You did. <laughs> Papa got a room to dress. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see this shit? Oh man, hey man, this is just some weird oh, shit. Oh yeah, now you're getting comfortable for show. I'm supposed to. I'm at, I'm at the house. I'm supposed to feel comfortable. You know? Shit. You in your bag now. I'm in the motherfucking bag. I've been in the bag all day. I ain't even gonna lie to you. All week. All week I've been in the bag. I'm already knowing. Damn. Man. We on. Yeah, we ain't. No. Hell no. This is my wife, man. You want something to drink? Yeah. Put your own shit. Don't ever look at me. You better splash some water on it. Splash some water Thank on you. it. Yeah. All right, what was your second favorite part of the day? At Rolling Loud. I don't know. The shooting contest, what else? The interaction with the fans, for sure. Because I could tell they got a real kick out of that. They love that. They love seeing people they fuck with, you know what I'm saying, outside. And, like, man, they got to just watch shit on fucking the stage. They don't even get to get that close. So for them to see somebody they fuck with, they watch all the time, shit, they starstruck. They love it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I love that for them. You know what I mean? I don't want to be no weird ass nigga, no damper on them to be like, damn, I really fucked this nigga and he's really a piece of shit in real life. Like where you don't even shake your hand, you want to be yeah. a fucking dickhead. And I don't never watch this shit again. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, he don't know who fucked with you. Just like our old boy said, he was like, man, I look up to you. Who was I to sit there? And, oh, for sure, buddy. Let me walk off on him. Like, you know what no, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I stop and interact with him. Like, hey, man, I really appreciate you. Keep watching. I'm going to keep dropping jewels for you, man. I'm doing it for y'all, you know? Yeah. And he'll take that forever. He'll take that forever. No, you know what I'm saying? Sure. That'll carry in his heart forever. Yeah. You know? So I feel like, you know, it, it, that shit matter. That shit matter. Gotta fuck with the fans, man. Don't just Nah, Rolling Loud was lit though this year, especially since it was, you know, in Englewood. The vibe was super cracking for sure. This was the first year it was in Englewood, right? Rolling Loud? Hell no. Oh, it was Englewood one like Draco, year. right? Draco? It was in no, it was um, it was in Englewood last year. Mm. It was Englewood last year. It was good. I think it's getting better and better. And I feel like um Rolling Loud getting bigger out here, like man, more fans, more people, more interaction. Yeah. You know, because they're not just fucking with the artists no more. they fucking with the influencers. They're fucking with media personalities. They're fucking with rap, up and coming rappers. they fucking with everybody, you they're know? Expanding. So, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Sharp do need somebody to decorate this room for me. Give me some money, man. Come on. <laughs> I do need you to decorate this shit. Put it together for me. Come on with it.
Do you see yourself going into acting? Do I see myself going into acting? Yeah. I mean, I fuck around. I have. I mean, I've done some shit. You know, I got some more shit coming up here uh, middle, end of April. I got to go uh, to Minnesota. I got to film out there for like a week and a half. You know what's so cold? Because I did this movie probably about a month ago, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's an independent film. It had me, Big Baby, Helvin Rodriguez. Like, it had us there. Like, it was dope. Yeah. I learned my lines the night before. You got it down? Got it down. Oh, yeah. See, you're a natural. Mm -hmm. You don't get nervous at all? Mm-mm. Not yeah, when you're you on camera. This. I'm on camera all the time. So it's like, shit, it's not hard being yourself. Hate it or love it. They're going to hate it. They're going to love it. What's the matter? Just be yourself. They're going to talk about it. Like I told you, all publicity is good publicity. It doesn't fucking matter. As long as you ain't do no super trifling ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like all publicity is good publicity. It doesn't Facts. fucking. Don't, don't let that shit hold no weight to you or no candle. You know what I'm saying? Like. He going to make it through that shit. You need him talking about you. That's why I didn't understand what Meek Mill did and when Meek Mill was sitting there like with the whole gay allegations and shit oh, like yeah. that. You entertained it in such a in such the wrong wrong error. He made an error in that shit, man. Like you were supposed to push your album. You had your album dropping, bro. God blessed you. Like, yeah, even though it's some fucked up allegations, bro, you could have still used that to your favor, to your advantage. Yeah. You know? You could have still used that to your advantage. So I just, I really didn't understand that, to be honest with you. Um, Wait, people, how did he go about it, though? He just got online and kept trying to, like, you know, Prove denounce. Yeah, like, yeah, I felt like he put too much, too much what into it. What did he say? It. He was just like, you know, just like, if I'm not gay. If I have these bitches, that bitches. You ain't got to tell nobody what you got. He explained nobody, himself too much. Yeah. Explained himself. Mm. So, you know, I mean, I think the shit was crazy, man. Like, the shit's. So, what do you think you would have done differently if you were him? Promoted my album. Fuck these niggas. Without man. addressing it at all. Man, for what? For what? Who are we addressing something to? Once you entertain that shit, once you really put a magnifying glass on it. You gave me light to it. You just gave it all the fuel that it needed. Yeah. Might as well sit back and get ready for the L. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Might as well sit back and get ready for the L. Get your popcorn, get your whatever you need. Get your Pepto-Bismol, get your Pepsi ACs, whatever. Because your stomach about to hurt after that one. Because it's about you just entertaining. It's about to make it way worse. Yeah. But wait, what was your role in the movie, though? What you were just saying right now? Played myself. But they wrote me, like, they wrote me all a little, little script for it, so it was cool. For them to cap, like, for them to capture me that way, you know what I'm saying, and still be able to write it down and make me make it make sense for me to be in a movie, like, as myself playing me, that shit was dope. Wow, that's crazy. I never knew that. Is the movie out? Mm-mm. <clears throat> Nah, she told me she'll let me know when they get ready to drop it. But it seemed like it's going to be good, though. How am I answering some questions, man? Y'all need to throw some super chats up there, man. I want to answer something for you. Now I don't mind talking. If not, I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about. Your ass going to sit right here. You rocking with my pivot. I respect I mean, it. You respect it? I respect it. Ooh wee. <laughs> Hi, that's how we're just gonna have my girl rocking with his pivot, huh? I thought they were gonna say rocking with his cripping. I was about to be like, yeah. oh, that part. <laughs> oh man. You fucking heathen. <laughs> fucking fucking heathen. <laughs> what the fuck going on, man? I had to double take like, wait, hold on, rocking with his cripping. Yeah, that's my dog barking up the street, you hear? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they said crib walk. Yeah, crib walk. With me. If I was a gang member, I would. Like how, you know, 
Like Bill Clinton said when they accused him of smoking weed, he said, I would if I could. <laughs> <laughs> I would if I could, you know what I'm saying? I was, hey, shit. Yeah. Come on, man, let's do that Amazon registry. <laughs> let's do it, man. Let's get this room together. Dude. You're right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right, man. Shit. <laughs> Kill gang well, in their own area, man. You know what I'm saying? So y'all got to get it right for us, that man. That would have come in clutch, though, for sure. Mm -hmm. But you see, I got boxes and shit sitting out there. I just ain't fucked with none of that shit. Like, it's, it's coming together. It's going to come together. Hit the P-Walk. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> Fuck going on. Real niggas don't dance, they buggy. Mm. Real niggas don't dance, they get money. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. Like I said, if I wouldn't have, if I wouldn't have started this shit up, if I wouldn't have just start going live and doing shit like this, when would I start it? You know what I'm saying? Like waiting to put some shit on the walls, waiting to put some Shit is just for at home. When I'm at home and I'm chilling, I might have some company or guests or something that we can come in, we can chill, we can run live. You know? I got a question for you. Top three people that you want to interview? Anybody? Top three people I want to interview, to be that honest. That hasn't with. happened yet. Um. Okay. Anybody? I'd have to say Roseanne Barr. She's definitely been on my list for a while. And I'll tell you why, because I want to go Rogan status. I want to touch that. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for that interview that's going to change the game. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. shit. Look at fucking Shannon Sharp. This nigga never did that shit in his life. Like, podcast, like the interview. Like, he podcast because he was over there with, uh, with Skip Bayless. So, you know, shout out to Skip Bayless and them. So, I can't say he's not been on camera and he ain't did his shit. But for him to step outside the box, go by himself, Make like you know what I'm saying? he started Club Shay Shay where he sit there with a little fucking little uh, little stocking on his head and a blacky mile and some cognac like just kicking the shit online on live yeah. to sitting down and doing one of the most iconic interviews that has been done up to date. You know what I'm saying? So shit, I thought I always rang supreme in it because like I've hit some good numbers. You know yeah. what I mean? But like that dude done did his thing, man. I gotta give it to him. Who Straight else? up. Um, so yeah, Roseanne Barr. Um, Top three. That's one right there. Joe Rogan. I feel like me and him have a crazy, crazy interview. And my third. I'd have to say my mama. Your mom. Yeah. That would be dope. Yeah. Let people kind of see where I come from, see if it's real or not, you know? That'd probably be a game changer. You think she would be with it? Probably not. Probably not, but, you know. I feel like she would. Nah. She probably wouldn't be. That's too much. That's too much. I feel like you should make it happen. Hmm? I feel like you should make it happen. That's what the people need. Yeah, they probably need to see that one. That would go crazy. That's different, too. I've never seen that before. Yeah. Wow, that was a good answer. Yeah, probably. Good answer. Yeah, I probably had her come through. Let's play her. You know, because I think people, a lot of people want to know, you know. Your background. My background, for Certain real, for things, real. Like, see yeah. if it's real or not. Like, my mom been knew this about me since I was young. Like, all this shit is real. Not funny. And let it get personal too, like deep, deep shit. Christina Newton, I appreciate you, baby. You said, what advice would you give someone that is trying to get in touch with the best version of themselves and how did you do it? Um, I'll be honest with you. Sometimes you got to take a breather and do it by yourself for a second. Everybody's always dependable, trying to be dependable on the next person and their what they think of you and all yeah. the extra shit. Sometimes you got to cut off the world, sit back, Re take a deep breath, splash some water on it, and revamp this shit. Only way you're going to do it is when you really get tired of the bullshit. That's when you get the best version of yourself. It's when you start to crack out of that shell. You, you shed that skin mm -hmm. that moves you and pushes you to the next level. It 
it's real, man. It's pure. It's yeah, you right, church. My stools is from Walmart. Your bitch bought them for me, and that's why I fired the bitch because she bought me some bullshit, church. But we got some new shit out there, gang. I couldn't let that one go. My bad. I know it was weird in a very meaningful situation, but I'm just like, you know, I had to say something, man. But I like it, though. I like it. I like it, man. I, I ain't mad at it. You know what's so cold? You know what I think make them mad? It's because this is proof that, like, all these niggas will... They'll bet they last, they'll spend their last dollar. To make it look to get good. A, to, make, to get a bad bitch around them, to do all the shit, right? I don't gotta you gotta do, do too nothing. Much. I don't gotta do nothing. When you crack in, it just comes easy. I can have my TV sitting on the floor and we sitting on a couple of milk crates. Guess what? I bet you I'm gonna make her, she gonna feel the time of her life. She gonna have a time of her life sitting with me because the conversation gonna feel like we sitting in a mansion. It comes easy. You don't got to do too it's about. much. See, they be mad about that, though. They mad But they wouldn't work. understand it, though. They just mad. They don't got it like it that. You feel me? me? Well, then tell them go teach gym, nigga, and get the fuck up out the way of this good shit. They'll right never here. understand it. Man, baby, they never will. They never will. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Top three people you'd want to collab with. And don't say me, I know. I'm <laughs> gonna put me in the mix. I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. Top yeah, three people. Top three people. Yep. Y'all wanna collab with right now, like to get y'all, you, mind you, you gotta think of somebody Foxy who's Brown. gonna push you over the hump. She's not gonna push you over the hump. She's not gonna push you over the hump. Asian doll? She ain't gonna push you over the hump either. Sexy red. Sexy red. Boom. I'm with that one. All right, one. Sexy red. Um, See, if I would have let you take your three, you would have already been out. You would have been three strikes Carol out G. already. Carol G. Okay, that's two. I'll take that one. Your third one. Like, man, you got to think. Come on now. El Alpha. I'm trying to nah, go overseas with this shit. Cool. No. Nah, that's where the real bad guy at. Start here. They're going to see you here. All right, right here. You let feel me? See, like, let me see. Let me see. Come on. I got to think about this because it got to be B. someone that I fuck and with. And I love, like, and look, I love Foxy Brown, but she's, she's like, I love her to death. She was one of them bitches of her time, but she's out of date. That ain't going to push you over the hump. I wouldn't even want you to do that. I'd stay more like a Cardi B, uh, Nicki Minaj. You got to get up around these bitches. They, they got a lot of shit going on. Like where somebody catch some wave with them. Hell, I would think if y'all trying to do some overseas shit, y'all would at least try to go fuck with Bad Bunny or somebody. That's who Bad y'all Bunny? need. Y'all need to go get on with somebody. Or right, like, who do you see us working with though? Just like you knowing our style, just like knowing like what we on. Like, what do you see? What type of collab? Sex, like, sexy you- red for okay. sure. Um. Who else? Now, if you're going to think about, all right, so to go with what you trying to do, because you're trying to go that old school feel, right? I'm not trying to be boxed in. If you're going to do, if you're going to go, okay, so if you're going to go old, but you're trying to go old school, but you want to fuck with like a Foxy Brown or something like that, you, I would go do either a Lil' Kim, go fuck with or Trina. Trina. Try something like that. And I'm sure Trina probably fuck with y'all. Trina, for sure. Trina fuck around and fuck with y'all. For real. You just got to get a hold of the right people. Remy Ma. No, she let it go. No, She let up a little bit? She let up. No, you want to fuck with somebody that is trying to make that I can make a move. I spy. She cute, though. No, Lotto. No, Lotto, Lotto, Lotto. I do it. either Lotto or... Lotto, uh, Lotto, Lotto or uh, Ice Spice. Hell yeah, either one. I'd probably lean more towards Ice Spice because she just got her little funky ass caught up there with Taylor Swift and all them at the Super Bowl and all that. So she's going up. You know what my goal is? To get Cardi B and Nicki Minaj on the same album. You, you'll you never see that shit. I couldn't set my drink down and swallow it enough to say it'll never happen. That ain't gonna happen. And if they ever did do it, they ain't gonna do it with you. Hate to bust your bubble or like pop your balloon. Why you think? They just not. They've had their own beef. They've had their own riffraff. Like, if anything, they're gonna clear that shit up on their own. They're not gonna fuck with nobody like that. Or like an they, all-female tape, though. 
I can see that happening. I want now. That. I can see a whole mixtape of like all of y'all Female together. Yeah, yeah, but as a for y'all landing on a song with them solely, and that's what happened. I mean, fuck you. Who? Hey, man, y'all heard it here we're, we're first gambling. though. We're gambling. That's my goal to get like an all female. Uh, that shit will go crazy. I wonder why that's never happened. I'm not yet. saying that you can you can't land in a ballpark, but you're not gonna land in that one. And it's just that that's I'm not saying that that's you like can't be it big. A bit. That's pushing it. Them bitches are gonna be gone by the man. They'll be somewhere else by the time you you reach that even reach that level. Like you got to catch people at that time. Like now getting one of them. All right, cool. Hell, that can happen. All right, what's your both? preference? Nicki Minaj or Cardi B, if you had to pick one? You fuck with both, but if you had to pick one. Nicki, because her shit going to go more commercial. Like, I ain't saying Cardi don't be doing her thing, and I'm not saying nobody don't fuck with her, but like a, a Nicki, yeah, Nicki joint, it's going to go everywhere. It's going to go, you're going to hear it. And I'm not saying Cardi B shit ain't going to go everywhere, but she, Nicki's more on a pop field. Yeah. So she's selling kind of to everybody. She'll mm-hmm. sing and do all the little extra shit on it in mix of her raps. So I feel like that that should have go a little bit further. All right. So what about Lotto or Asian Doll? Lyrical wise. Bar for bar. Who would you go for? I'm a real gutter nigga at heart, so we gonna like rock with like look, I'm gonna go with cause I feel where Asian doll at with it. So I'm gonna rock with Asian doll on that Asian joint. Asian doll on God. Yeah, yeah, everything. And I ain't saying I don't like a lot of, but I'm just keeping it real. Alright, this is gonna be tough. RMC Mike or Rio? <laughs> I like Rio, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna roll with RMC Mike. That's my nigga. Why? Like I like his music. He, me and him got the same raspy voice, so I took a liking to him. Okay. That's how I first caught on him. If, if I, I would know Rio if I didn't know RMC Mike. You know what I'm saying? So I shout out to my nigga RMC Mike, homie. Straight up. He had uh shit me and him and DM'd a while back. A good nigga yeah, right RMC there. Yeah, RMC Mike go crazy for sure. Yeah. What music you listen to other than your your conceited ass self and your sister? I listen to variety from like Jenny Rivera to like so you like Latin Rochi music. RD you, you to like, like the Scorpions to like the Doors, you know. Lines. Yeah, Free Rio, by the way. Mom, I'm all over. I listen to everything. Yeah. I do. I like jazz jazz music for sure. You like jazz? Jazz music, yeah. So why the fuck you always turn the fuck up and always uh, on edge? You listen you to so? smooth jazz? Yeah. Yes. I'm a good little balance, I would say. Yes, you. I could switch it up. I be laid back, but I be lit. But I'm not lit all the time. I be laid back. I be chill. I be posted. What? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I listen. I know I read super chats, but that one funny as hell. He say you listen to Daniel Hernandez. <laughs> listen to who? Do you listen to Daniel Hernandez? Yeah. Who? You don't listen to Daniel Hernandez. No, who is no. that? You don't know who that is? No. <laughs> Daniel Hernandez? Daniel yeah. Hernandez? Yeah. Who's that? 6 9 Oh. <laughs> hey, I used to fuck with 6 that 9 though before one, he guy. became a snitch, though. That was a good one, guy. Yeah, he fingers. <laughs> he said, shit, you can't get all these Spanish names. He said, hey. You Daniel listen. Hernandez. <laughs> they made it sound super Hispanic, bro. Hey. Yeah, something else, man. No, they tried. That threw me off show. a little bit. Like, wait, hold no, on. What? No, they tried. No, they tried. They tried. Nah, 6 9 used to... He came out with a few bangers, though. I'm not gonna lie. What? 6 9 you, Yeah. In the beginning what? of his 
career. What you think about, yeah, what you think about his snitching allegations? That fucked everything up. Yeah. You still fuck with him? Everything, you still fuck with him? You know up. you fuck with him. You still fuck with him? I'm the type to like separate said, the music and the person. Nah, nigga. He told. Nah, oh, fuck all that. Shouldn't have been a part of it. I haven't been. I get that. I haven't right tuned in with his new music. But from what I remember, he mm. did come out with at least one banger after he, all the allegations, all the, the snitching and shit. He had one banger after that. After that, I didn't really keep up with his music. I ain't Truthfully. mad at, at homie still getting his money because if people going to pay for it, nigga, shit, who am I to knock your bankroll? But when it come to telling, homie, you got to wear that jacket. Yeah. I always say, why do niggas, why do niggas put themselves in them type of situations? Like, bro, you know you wasn't really no member. You wasn't really one of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. You want to get on. Fame a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And you do need a village to get on. Yeah. But it got he got Ah, uh, bro. Uh, still at the end of the day. And they fucked up because you they got recordings of your homies wanting to kill you and fucking your baby mama and <laughs> All the extra shit, but in all actuality, you know, sweetie, in all actuality, like, nigga, you ain't have to be around none of that shit. Thank you. You could have left, you're welcome. Like, you could have left that shit alone. Like, but I get it, though. Fame a motherfucker, too, though. Motherfucker want to get on, and it does take a village behind you to do so. So what did he do? He he turned to the streets for it. Like, okay, well, shit, we can get some motion. Let this look. If he would have came out with colorful hair, colorful teeth, screaming by himself, that shit wouldn't have hit the same. He came out with a squad behind him. So he bought them. You think? I mean, niggas understood the program. It's all a formula. Somebody got smart when they got around him. Straight up. Straight up. Somebody got smart when they got around him. Here, man, let's just put some niggas around him. He crazy enough to go say some stupid shit. Like, he going to... Come on, I mean... Yeah, he probably had to be giving him money to, like, fuck with him. You know what I did want to run into, but I don't think I was there for his day. Speaking of Latin artists, I did want to run into D-Baby. But I, I don't think I was there for his day. You ever heard of D-Baby? D baby sounds familiar. Hey, that nigga shit go crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. D baby go crazy. He's Hispanic. Yeah, he's Hispanic. And I'm a man. I swear to you, that boy is somebody. Somebody real big standing behind that boy. Somebody real big. I ain't gonna say who it is of who I think it is, but somebody big is standing behind that nigga, man. I think somebody big standing behind Mexican OT too. Mm. I think somebody big standing behind him that nobody get to see. He take long money to push niggas. Straight up. Who you know got long money like that? Think about it. Who you know got long money in the Mexican culture? Who got long money to push whatever, whoever, however? And like the shit that we're, that we're in right now? Like the... The music scene that we're in right now? Yeah, who you think, like, for, you know what I'm saying, for the Mexican culture side like that. And, the, oh, and the, the Latin people that you see on today that are from Mexican descent. What Shit. would you, who you think got long with enough money to push somebody that far? <laughs> who you think? Come on, homie. It's only one, it's only one group I feel like. Who? I really push that shit the where it needs to get, it's gonna get pushed. Niggas is gonna push the line. Who? Hey, ain't my business. I just know. Them niggas is shining. These niggas is dropping out of nowhere. For real. And they got good music. But it take money to push behind them. Let's really think about it. You know what I'm saying? They got money to push behind them. It's only certain people that's, that has that. The power to. That, that power to push somebody. You know what I'm saying? And really make sure that they have every Hey, man, here. Because it, it costs money to make money. It costs money to, to push a motherfucker somewhere, even if they're pushing a song. It takes money. You and your sister want a number one hit on the record, on, on like on the radio and all that type of shit like that. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to cost y'all close to about, about a quarter million dollars. Quarter million dollars to like really thoroughly push a track 
a hit. So do you think it's like money over just like organically happening? You have a to know bag. the business with it. It takes the money to do the shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to want this shit pushed all over. Guess what? People are going to want their cut early. They won't have to worry about dealing with you later on. So do you think these people, like these artists, had their song playing like just constantly like on I've the radio? I've talked to, listen, I've talked to niggas that have really done this music shit. Hell, even my nigga Yada, shout out to him. He was signed with fucking, uh, he signed with MMG, signed with fucking uh, Rick Ross and them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But he's even, I said, man, how'd you get on with them? He said, I said, man, how much you think it costs to like push it? He said, man, at least a quarter million. To push, like, to try to push a song thoroughly and get it played and get it around places. So it's rare whenever it just hits the radio if it without hits money, the radio, without a bag. That, that, that's, and, you, and I wish it was like that. You know what I'm saying? To where it just, the song was good, he gets to make the artist, you know what I'm saying? Something great. Now it's like you got to have a little bit of bread with it. Why do you think every person that's trying to get on and everybody know what I'm saying? You, they have investors with them. There's always a team that moves with them. It's never just them and you come meet them at their fucking mama and daddy's house like you're coming and signing them for college. Mm -hmm. And y'all stay in the hood and your mama and daddy saying, oh, we just want y'all to take good care of them. Yeah. No, they already got investors and other people. Like, this shit's gotten bigger than that. That's why you hear bullshit-ass music on fucking radios or on, like, getting hella streams and all that. Why? Because they know how to push this shit around. Marketing is a motherfucker. Marketing is a motherfucker. And with marketing comes some bread. Yeah. So you think it's like rare nowadays for a song to just hit the radio organically without no bag, like paying a motherfucker to play it on the radio? I mean, not in this go, go, generation. Go, hey, listen to me. Or like, go get somebody times. that didn't already have notoriety in the street that did that because even then, there are people bullied that shit on even if they didn't pay. I've heard of people even doing like, yeah, I'm going to do something. You're going to have some type of notoriety. You're not just going to come on as just somebody trying to up and, and up and coming. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like a mother got some, like look at my nigga O3 and O3 music is hard, but he's a well-known, respected LA nigga. They're going to move niggas out the way for him. Hell yeah, let him perform. And his music is dope as fuck. Yeah. But he's got a little bit of notoriety already too. That's what made people want to listen to the music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm just using him as an example because I seen him earlier. Like, and people fuck with him, flood through the stadium for him. But because he already is outside having that notoriety already. Mm -hmm. So for him to drop music and being good at it, and being good at it, it's a plus. Yeah. He I felt like he was gonna get on regardless. Mm -hmm. They respect different shit in the street. It's just, hey man, his levels to this shit. Yeah. You know Definitely what I'm saying? To this shit for sure. I'm watching that nigga pull up. You know what I'm saying? Rolls truck by himself, like doing shit. Like he's gonna stand out. Ain't been having it. Like not even the the toot the nigga horn too yeah. much. Pause. Like and that's my homie. Like but just use <laughs> him said as pause. No, you know what I'm saying just use him as an example. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like did people respect him? He already had notoriety of who he was. Yeah. He's already been a respectable nigga throughout the entire city. So for him to go and, and then working with different music, yeah, he's going to get around. Yeah, he's going to be talked about. Yeah, now he look at him rolling loud like he's doing shit like that because of the notoriety he already had as a person. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So people are going to listen to people that they know like, damn, he a real motherfucker. And he dropped music too. It run, no, hand, it run hand in hand. So yeah. when you don't have that or even say you do have that and people don't know about it you gotta ask some money so you can show it yeah so you can show you got that that you are that person people need to be able to see it it's a fucked up industry man it's a fucked up industry It's a fucked up industry, man. It is. But, and like I said, you can have a banger, but you're going to have to put some bread behind it. Like, it's just what it is, and it's okay to do that. Go find the bag. Investors are a motherfucker. Like, you just got to hope you find somebody with a big old bag that really like that motherfucking song. And that believes to, in and, your vision. And, that, that, really yeah, that believes it. in your vision and willing to push you to the next level. Mm-hmm. 
Straight up. You think we're going to have another Nicki Minaj in the game anytime soon? And what do you think it's going to take? You won't see another Nicki Minaj for another 10, 15 years. Mark my words. 10, 15 years? Hell yeah. Who doing it like her? Honestly. And I ain't taking from Cardi. Cardi got her own name. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who else going to do it like that? These girls have tried to separate themselves. They don't want to be with, they, they trying to make sure their shit lasts for them. They make money off of the next 10, 15 years. You know? Yeah, I don't think it's going to be any more Nikki's stuff for a long time. Y'all over there going crazy on each other, man. Chill out. Chill the hell out, man. All right. I just want to come run for a little bit, man. Come fuck with y'all. Her Goldie with the 40 in the building. I know y'all be liking her little ass coming on through. So I say, fuck it. Bring her back on through. Yeah, it went to Rolling Loud. Didn't stay for the future set. I wanted to get the fuck up out of there before a nigga really got caught up in the mix. In that traffic, I'm cool, man. I'll pass on all that. I had fun. I had a blast, though. Y'all be ready for it, man, because that vlog is coming. It's going to be something crazy, something to see. Nah, the way that you described it, I yeah. know that vlog's going to be stupid yeah, that vlog, cracking. That vlog's sure. about to be done. Like, we had some real ignorant shit going on. <laughs> Y'all already know when we get out there, it gets on some... Because the, the fans interact with us just how they see us on camera. So, so what do you? What can we expect from that vlog? Man. Ratchetness. Ratch, man, Freak Nick for sure. I had the Freak Nick part of it going. I ain't gonna lie. Shit talking? Shit talking like a motherfucker. Fly shit? Super fly. Everybody shining. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be a good one. What was like a fly fit that you peeped? Today. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like Who my had nigga, shit o, on? Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. When I interviewed O3 Greedo, O3 Greedo had some shit on. I would have rocked. I ain't gonna hold you. His style wearing? was different. He had like that that mohair flannel on, and it was the crop flannel. He had the white T-shirt on with like the baggy. He had the baggy uh, like 501s on. Like I forgot his shoes, but his shit went crazy. Though. I think he might have some bricks on something like that, but his shit was crazy. I fucked with it. Damn, that's real. Because you said that's something I would have worn. That's some shit I would have worn. I ain't going to hold you. Like, yeah, some shit that I would have rocked today. All right, second favorite outfit. Pause. <laughs> Nobody. I wasn't even really paying it. Like, that was probably the only nigga I was like, damn, because I even told him about it. Like, damn, mm -hmm. church. I like, I like how you put it together today. But uh, who else? Who else had a crazy fit on today? From what you're able to remember. Because I know it was just like so much going on. I was more just in the conversation. Like I really wasn't. Like O3 probably had the flies fit. Like I just like, damn, that's something I would have wore. His, his top was crazy. So I fuck with bro. Who did you I, chop it up with to where like it stood out to you? Like, okay, good conversation. Cracking. It was when I was getting interviewed. Somebody interviewed me. I forgot the boy. Uh, I think it's... uh. Oh, so it was your interview. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was like hood something. I forgot what it was, man. I wish I could know what your name. What did they ask you? Shout out to you. He just asked me a whole bunch of hood questions. Like, to see, I think it was like, uh, see if you like so hood or too hood, man. Whoever that is, man, I fuck with you, buddy. I fuck with you, man. Yeah, I'm just, shit, I'm burnt out from that shit. I ain't gonna hold you. That shit was a lot today. You ready for your interview to drop? Y'all interview about to get ready to drop. You know, you know, yeah. I think y'all was talking about some bullshit. Y'all was talking about some bullshit. What you mean? Y'all was talking about some bullshit. No, y'all wasn't. That was cool. Hey, y'all came through with the up. vibes, though. The interview was good. We had Dave Jean Paul there in the building. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought you were going to bleed our shit. I was ready for it. 
One thing Sharp gonna do you thought I was is gonna talk that you? shit. Oh, God. Why you think that I was gonna believe you? For what? You just... I, I feel I like gonna... you just word certain things to where it like rubs people off the wrong way. And one thing about it is like with us, it's not that we take things the wrong way, but it's like anything that rubs us off the wrong way is just kind of like, wait, hold on, pause. Like, well, you bleeding my shit right now? I don't know. It was just, it was nothing in particular, but it was just like one of those like, you don't hold back. You speak your mind. No, why would I? <laughs> Fuck that. We talking about this shit. You feel me? Yeah, I think that interview gonna be dope though. Can't wait till it come out. Y'all be on the lookout for it, man. We got the two tone twins coming. It's really one of my people right here, man, for real. She be fucking with us, man. I wanted to bring her back for y'all, man. You know? So we can move and groove and do what we do best. It's been another episode, man. Late night show. Catch y'all here soon, man. Church.